Hello and welcome or welcome back. My name is Laura Collins and I'm thrilled to announce that this video is serving as my submission to become a brand educator with my favorite hair color line, Pravana. I've used Pravana for the majority of my 15 year career as a hairstylist and it's always been my go-to for creating gorgeous custom looks for my clients. I have a passion for educating others, which is why I started my blog and this YouTube channel to teach others how to make every day a good hair day. I actually spend quite a bit of time in the Pravana Facebook group answering questions and helping other stylists with their color formulations. This is why I feel that I would be a perfect fit for becoming a brand educator with Pravana. Okay, now all that being said, let me show you my skills as an artist by creating a gorgeous customized autumn hair color. All right, so for my foliage formula, I'm doing 30 grams of ultra lightener and 60 grams of 20 volume developer. Now, after I go through this bowl of lightener, I will mix up a second bowl with 30 volume developer just so I get some even processing for the last foils that I apply. And for my application, I am doing some traditional foils around the hairline and the mini piece, and then some teasy lights all throughout the rest of the hair. I'm weaving and slicing out, leaving some of the natural color present, just so we have some dimension running through the hair. Now, if you'll notice, I first paint the underneath side of the hair with lightener before I place it against the foil. The reason for this is to get really good saturation, which is key to ensuring proper lift in the hair. For the money piece, I do two back-to-back -back weaves and then carry on with my previous placement, which is leaving a slice out and then a weave of the lightener. Now, if you'll notice, my weaves are pretty chunky. I like to call these ribboned weaves, and the reason I'm doing this is just to maintain some dimension in the hair. After I finish the whole head, I go back and gather the hair that was left out and weave out some pieces to do tip outs on. This is because this mannequin was fully brunette with nothing on her ends lightened and I wanted to have a little bit more of the ends bright. So I'm going through and weaving out some of the ends just to get a little bit more brightness at the bottom. Before toning, I like to apply Pravana's Prime Spray, which demineralizes the hair to prep for color. For the root smudge, I'm using 20 grams of 6.34 and 10 grams of 4.4 with 45 grams of Zero Lift Developer. And for the gloss, I'm using 20 grams of the new Platinum Spice Toner and 10 grams of Platinum Sand with 45 grams of Zero Lift Developer. This mannequin's natural base is a level 5, so I wanted to add the 4.4 into the 634 to deepen it a little while still adding a little bit more of that warm copper color. I first add the root smudge all throughout the hair except for the money piece before going back and adding the gloss. For my gloss formula, I added the platinum sand to slightly mute out the spice without completely neutralizing it. One of my Vivid's formulas is a little bit lighter and I didn't want the spice to completely overpower it. If you'll notice, I always apply my gloss formula at the chair with a bowl and brush. This is to ensure proper saturation and even distribution. I just find that my toners always come out much better when I do this rather than slapping them together at the bowl with the client in the sink. I also wait to apply my root smudge to the money piece until I've already applied the gloss and the root smudge gets put on at the very end. 
here you can see our pre-toned canvas, which is going to be perfect for our Vivids colors. And for my Vivids formula, the first color I did 70 grams of neon orange to 10 grams of sunstone. And the second panel is 70 grams of Too Cute Coral and 10 grams of neon orange. So at the money piece, I am doing the darker color at the root and then the lighter color throughout the mids and ends. And as I panel these colors in, the lighter color is going to be along the perimeter on the bottom and the darker color is going to be on the top panels, kind of melting over the hair. So I mix sunstone into the neon orange formula just to dilute it the tiniest bit and almost give a little bit of a pink hue to the neon orange. And for the lighter color, I did mostly Too Cute Coral with a little bit of neon orange in it just to deepen the color ever so slightly while still maintaining the contrast between the two. Both Sunstone and Too Cute Coral require a level 10, while Neon Orange only requires a level 9. So that Neon Orange helps give me a little bit more of a deeper base to the color so that all of the hair is covered properly. 